Hey there, this is Karthik and in this video I'm going to solve the problem C of code forces around 700 and it's actually not a very hard problem but it's an interactive problem and I really enjoy interactive problems. Mm, just to check, yeah. Now the problem says that you your friend knows an array A1, A2, A3, so on till AN. The array has n elements. You don't know what those elements are but you know the size of the array. Now you would like to find out an index in this array which is a local minimum of that array and you can ask 100 questions from your friend the question is like this or the query that hey what is the ith element of the array and the and your friend will tell okay the ith element is equal to 10 or 5 or whatever it is your friend will tell you the right value of the ith element and you can ask him at most 100 queries and you would like to find out a local minima in the array so hopefully the problem statement is clear to you, otherwise I recommend that you read it on your own. Uh, a few interesting things that you will find out after reading the problem is that all the elements of the array are distinct and they are the uh, numbers from 1 to n permutated in some way. Also that a0 and a n plus 1 are also valid elements and they are actually equal to infinity and you already know them. Now you have to ask at most 100 queries and you would like to find out the local minima. Local minima is basically an element that is less than both the elements to its left and to its right. Okay, so ai is a local minima if it is less than ai minus 1 and ai plus 1. Now let's move to the solution because that's what you are here for. But make sure that you like, share and subscribe so that I can keep bringing more videos for you. Now see guys the solution would, uh, a potential solution is like this. See you have a0 equal to infinity then you have a1, a2 and so on till an. And then again, an plus 1 equal to infinity. Let's say that I ask my friend what ai is. And my friend tells me, okay, ai equal to some value. And that value is basically represented by the height of this tower. He will tell me honestly, okay, ai equal to this. And I also ask him about ai minus 1 and ai plus 1. So I asked him three questions or three queries. He will tell me all these three values. Now, one of the possibilities is that ai was actually smaller than both the ai minus 1 and ai plus 1. In that case, ai is the local minima and you have already found out your answer and you can say, okay, code forces, I solved the problem. This is the right answer. But uh, there is another possibility that both of these were either less than ai. So, ai minus 1 was also less than ai and ai plus 1 was also less than ai. Right, you can have ai minus 1 less than ai and you can also have ai ai plus 1 also smaller than it or one of these values could be smaller than ai meaning that ai is not a local minimum. So when such a case appears what do you do? You have already asked three queries with no success. But actually there is a bit of success in this. See the idea is that once you asked ai and you found out that okay ai minus 1 is actually smaller than ai right. So my, the claim here is that I can guarantee that there will be a local minima in the region from A1 till AI. There will definitely be a local minima. Why is that so? How, how can I prove my claim? So I can prove my claim like this. See, if, if you think about AI minus 1, it is a possibility that it is a local minima, right? If it is a local minima, if AI minus 2 is smaller than it. Sorry, if AI minus 2 is greater than this. So it would be a local minima in such a case. But it's possible that it's not a local minima and when would that case appear? When AI minus 2 is less than AI. But then it's possible that AI minus 2 is a local minima if AI minus 3 was greater than it. But let's say AI minus 3 is also less than AI minus 2. Then uh, there's a possibility that AI minus 3 is a local minima. And see, you'll, you'll either find a local minima somewhere or you would find an array like this. From A1 to AI, you would find an increasing array or, a, or an array that is sorted in increasing order. In which case, A1 is obviously a local minima because A1 is less than A2 and A0 is automatically infinity. So, on asking three queries, you can reduce your search range to half of the original array. Okay. And initially, let's say you had 10 power 5 elements to look for. You asked three questions and now you have 10 power 5 divided by Two. Th these are the number of, uh, this is the range that you are looking in. And every time you ask three questions, your range becomes half of what you were actually looking at. So you ask AI, uh, you ask the middle element of the array. <clears throat> and depending upon the result, either that was a local minima 
or your search range reduces to half of what you were looking at and if you keep doing that let's say you do this half thing you ask you you do this let's say 20 times then your range would reduce down to 10 power 5 divided by 2 power 20 and 2 power 20 is already greater than 10 power 5 i guess it's already 1 million and for us uh, knowing whether a, uh, a middle guy is a minima or not you just need to ask three questions so even if you had to do this process of dividing the array into smaller portions 20 times you would ask 20 into 3 that is 60 queries and in no more than 60 queries your range would fall down into one single element okay and as soon as that happens that your search range that your potential minima lies in this region reduces down to a single element then that is your answer so initially just to summarize it although the solution is already done just to summarize that initially you were looking at n elements and you said okay my local minima is somewhere in the range a1 a2 so until an and then you tried out an by 2 and you saw what is the left of this and to the and the right of this either this was a local minima or your search range got smaller and you were looking at either the elements from a1 till an minus an by 2 minus 1 okay and you said okay my my potential minima lies somewhere in this region an minus yeah an by 2 minus 1 sorry right you said okay my my potential minima definitely lies in this range somewhere here right or uh, you could have gotten the range that your potential minima lies somewhere in this region and it's somewhat like binary search you can just continue doing this till your search range becomes equal to one element and that will happen in no more than 18 or 20 times of doing this each time you do this you ask your friend three queries and finally you will be left with a single uh, with a range of size one and that will be your answer so i hope this video helped you to solve the problem and make sure that you like share and subscribe let me know in the comments if there is any doubt or if you liked the explanation i would be very happy to know that it helped you so bye